I, I think that's that's a very good point you made regarding uh, taking critique or questions about your idea because a lot of people a lot of times are married to their ideas so kind of a it's kind of a part of themselves and when you critiquing that idea you basically critique their values or, or that's how they see it a lot of yeah. times and then they like you said they go into defense and it's from that point it's a slippery slope when people get into defense it's the it's the end of the discussion then it's going to be war yeah and and i think that's also indeed a, a great point you you made is that both of them were skilled enough to understand what they are doing um and also open to the critiques and and still having a, a healthy discussion i think that's also part of the skill set of matt he has his own podcast he has his own show is a is a is a well seasoned broadcaster so it's it, he understands this aspect of the let's call it the game or the the the, the creation of a show as well um, yeah. but that's something people regular people can learn as well like if someone is is critiquing whatever you're doing and unless it's a ad hominem it's it, sometimes it's not even about you as a person it's about the idea it just maybe 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 you have not never thought of it but your my, your idea might suck <laughs> yeah no yeah. one has your, your your group of friends your group of friends didn't tell you that because their ideas suck as well and they think you're the, the genius one but maybe you're just average no one has told yeah. you yet <laughs> yeah yeah. I sound like Kevin Samuels for a second right there. You're average. The average at best. You're average as best. <laughs> you're average at this best. is to everyone. Yeah. Maybe your, yeah. your ideas are just average at best. You're and you haven't tested average. them. No, no peer review. No one has tested that. You went to the woods and never went test your, your pew pew. Yeah, yeah. yeah to see yeah. how sharp your, your ideas is actually. You come yeah. out here. With the wolves, get questioned, and then suddenly you take it personal because some, yeah. Anyway, try to try to learn from this, guys. Try to learn from this. And that's why you have to watch out when you're going to debate people like Joe Rogan, Matt Walsh, Ben Shapiro. These are people who, oh. these are people who are continuously involved in complex discussions yeah so they have the skills necessary um to which is possible to break it down and you can also let's say let's take joe rogan he joe rogan seemingly has people from different spectrums in his show they can be right they can be yeah. left it can be men they could be women um so many different types of people so it's very unlikely that you will come, let's say, in an argument regarding a controversial topic, that you will come with, that you, that you can take him off guard. I mean, you can have one good idea that he might not have thought of, but mm -hmm. you can't, it's not, if you come with, like, say, the, you know, the, the, we all know the topics that, that spark. cause endless spark endless you know the endless debates yeah but i'm pretty sure that because joe rogan has had people from different parts of the society on his podcast he is able to adjust and 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 conduct himself the way he's supposed to in any type of situations whereas someone who for example, who's either right and o let's say a right winger who only has people from the right on his show or a left winger or who only have who only has people uh, from the left on his show, you're just creating an echo chamber. So yep. you're not developing the quality of your 
Arguments. Arguments. And your ideas. And your ideas, yes.